Hello one, hello all, and welcome back to another edition of John Ammo's Archives here exclusively on YouTube. What we want to focus on right now is our first round opponent, Minnesota Viking. So, as you can see here, I got my little Viking jersey that I bought like 20 years ago. It's a Chris Carter jersey. I never really wore it. As you know, I only wear Eagle jerseys, but I think someone got this for me way back in the day. So, keys to stopping the Minnesota Vikings, as we all know. The first key to stopping the Minnesota Vikings is definitely going to be shutting down Adrian Peterson. Philadelphia Eagle defense is number one against the run in the NFC. I am expecting them to do a lot of work against Adrian Peterson, and I am predicting them to hold Adrian Peterson under 100 yards rushing. The second big key to stopping the Minnesota Vikings is stopping their front four. As we know, they have two of the best defensive tackles in the Williams brothers on the uh, defensive line. And you have to watch Darren Sharper in the backfield. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I really feel that the Philadelphia Eagles should handedly beat the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Donovan McNabb right now is playing the best football I feel of his career. Uh, the Eagles, he broke his all-time passing record in yardage this year. Like I was saying, the Eagles are the number three defense in the NFL. They're the number one defense in the NFC, and they're the number eight offense in the NFL, and the number five defense, uh, I'm sorry, offense in the NFC. Keys to winning the game for the Philadelphia Eagles, as you all know. We will have to get the ball to Thunder and Lightning, Brian Westbrook and Correll Buckhalter. Something happened with Andy Reid this past... Uh, this past uh, Sunday against the Cowboys, he used Terrell Buckholter, and he finally realized that the 225-pound back, back might be the guy to take the ball straight up the middle. So let's pound the ball out with Westbrook. Let's pound the ball out with fucking Terrell Buckholter. Let's build an early lead and then attack from the air, you know, score a couple from the air, and then run it back down again and, and take some time off the clock. Um... You know, really quickly, I, d I did want to say something about the Washington Redskin game uh, when we lost 10 to three, and I do want to give the Redskin fans their props for beating us. You did, you guys did beat us twice this year, so congratulations on that. Even though you finished a lowly eight and eight, which I told you we were gonna do. Um, something that you know kind of bothered me is. I never went out on Donovan McNabb. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows I'm a number five fan for life. For 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 life, baby. And, you know, like, when he does stuff like, you know, when he, when he says stuff like he doesn't know the rules or he gets involved in some stupid off-field controversy, sometimes I get mad at number five because I defend him so vehemently. But that being said, you guys are really considering, like, anybody out there in their right mind not paying this guy his nine or ten million dollars? I mean, seriously? Let me ask you a question. How many better quarterbacks are there in football than Donovan McNabb? Tom Brady, who's probably not better than him anymore because of his knee, and Peyton Manning. That's the only two quarterbacks. Eli Manning, is, is you can make an argument because he won the big game, but he hasn't produced the consistency that McNabb has. The bottom line is, if McNabb is not there, who's, who are you going to replace him with? Matt Castle? I mean, are you freaking kidding me? Pay this guy $10 million, and you know what? Get this guy a receiver already. Donovan McNabb's career is a shame, man. These guys, these Philadelphia Eagles, have wasted this guy's entire career for not getting him a fucking number one wide receiver. And it makes me sick to my stomach to think that instead of paying him his $10, $10 million, which you obviously should do, pay him his $10 million, get the guy his wide receiver finally, and watch what happens. Peyton Manning from day one has had Reggie Wayne and Marvin Harrison as his one and two wide receivers. You and, and him and Donovan McNabb came into the league the same the same year. You mean to tell me if Donovan McNabb had had Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne from day one, he wouldn't have won one of those Super Bowls? Come on, give this guy a goddamn receiver. And back to the Redskins game, Reggie Brown. Story of this guy's career is coming up a yard short, man. Like, how many more times are we gonna give him the ball? And it, it, you know what? The Philadelphia Eagles sometimes try to make us fools. Because for years and years and years, Andy Reid has been trying to delude us with the, the sense that our wide receivers are good enough. Well, if our wide receivers were good enough, why did you go ahead and try to sign Randy Moss this offseason and fail? My whole point being, 
Ladies and gentlemen, if that's Randy Moss running that route at the end of the Philadelphia Eagle-Washington Redskin game, he's getting into that end zone and he's scoring the touchdown. It's not McNabb's fault. The ball is right there. You mean to tell me that this guy can't fucking extend out his arms and reach another foot? So, you know, that being said, man, let's just go Philadelphia Eagles this year. I want, I want these guys. I want to fucking take them apart. You see these Minnesota Vikings? That's it. It's, it's, it's over for you guys, man. You guys had a nice little season. You got a nice little running back, but you're not in the same class as the uh, Philly Eagles. So, uh, I once again wanted to extend my condolences to the Dallas Cowboys, and I wanted to sing you a special song as I take you out. Uh, first of all, some quick stats. The Dallas Cowboys haven't had a winning December since 2001. Tony Romo has still never won a clutch game. The Cowboys still haven't won a playoff game since 1996, and they still suck. Oh, so, by the way, Dallas Cowboys, as far as 2008 goes, nah, 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 nah. Hey, 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 goodbye. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, 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 goodbye.